Love London mornings like this. Nothing like it. Great city and some pretty good racetracks. Relatively near. Crystal Palace, no more, of course. Just over the other side of the river there, in effect. So today, down to Brands Hatch for the Formula Ford Festival. Been there many times. Haven't been there for a long time, though. Uh, but it's a special year this year because it's 50 years since Formula Ford first hit the road. Lotus 51, Ray Allen, does that ring a bell? Something like that, anyway. I'm going down to Brands. The guy's on the PA here and they're doing a great job, got to tell you. Uh, I've been promising blue skies. So there actually is some up there, I can see it. Look at that, amazing. Brands Hatch, Formula Ford Festival, blue sky, but then that's more of what we've been going to see, I think. Look at Drew, it hasn't changed at all, really, has it? Since, uh, well, since the 50s, 40s, probably. Used to go around the other way in the 40s, didn't they? Anyway, I'm just going through the famous Brands Hatch Tunnel, which is, uh, this tunnel has seen many a Grand Prix star drive down through there, helmet off. Lorenzo Bandini, Mike Parks, Jackie Stewart, Jim Clark, Trevor Taylor, and so on. They always used to drive their cars down through here. I used to love that moment actually, not that I was ever here for those races, but seeing it on TV or whatever. Um, Jimmy helmet off driving through the tunnel here in the Lotus 33B. Echoey, hello, hello. Anyway, I'm going down into the paddock. I want to try and meet some of these guys. A guy called Matt Cowley, who's won the uh, American... Wow, make some noise here, isn't it? Oops, oops. Won the American Formula Ford Series, he's English. He went over because he couldn't afford to race in England. Interesting, I want to find out why it's cheaper to race in America and see what the Americans think who've come over of racing here at Brands and indeed what they think of the food here at Brands. That's what I'd love to see, racing drivers refueling their cars, doing their own gear ratio changes, putting the wheels on and off. That's what it's all about. If you haven't gone through that at this stage, you're never going to make it in Formula 1 in my view. This is all about getting your hands dirty. This is real motor racing. Well, Team Palfrey, who I raced with this season, really wanted me out there. And, and they're good, aren't they? Yeah, they're one of the top teams all the way from 1600 up to Indy Lights, and they also compete in the 500 this year. So they were really keen to have me out there, so I managed to work a bit of a deal and get out there. And it just seemed like the best move for me because I've done a season out here, and I just wanted to try and build my profile and experience different things as well. I'd probably say it's one of the most fun cars you can drive around in France. It's, it's like not a lot of grip, not a lot of power, so you've really got to drive the car, and people that can drive well are at the front and people that can't are at the back. I see you got in a Curie Australia. What's that? Yeah, um, early on this season I went to the class, Phillip Island Classic yeah. and raced with... Um, oh, Chris, he's called. He runs a race team out there. Yeah. So this was his dad's old race team who ran F1 at one point. Davison? Yeah, Chris Davison. Well, that was Lex Davison. Yeah, was that the, was his the dad. grandfather, I guess. Oh, or the grandfather. Probably, yeah. yeah. And Lex was a great Australian racing driver, and his team was indeed called Akiri Australia. Yeah, so he's trying to revive the team now. Is he? Yeah, is his dad's sort of legacy. Brilliant. So he's starting that off. So we raced with them in um, the Phillip Island Classic and finished third in 88 right now. Hey guys, Peter Windsor of Motorsport TV. Well, how's it going, man? Yeah, good. I'm a big, big friend of Jeremy Shaw. And Cold and wet. <laughs> yeah. of the food. Oh, it was pretty good. It's much different. A lot of different names and stuff. So I'm getting, getting to experience it a lot. On light custard. <laughs> <laughs> and Mars bars. Best part of any Brands Hatch meeting is the cafe area. Oh. Classic form of food. Oh, wow. Quite sure what to get. It have to be the sausages with some uh, rice, please. Thank you. How long did you say you've been coming here? Uh, I've been coming here every year. I'm 18 years old, and I've been coming here every year since I've been born. <laughs> <laughs> That was a really fun race. I was quicker than him through clearways. Yeah. And what happened on, that, on the last lap, he defended and it put him out of sync, I guess. I think he was um, 
he hadn't been on that part of the track yeah, before yeah. and he went in a bit deep and there if you just get onto the rubber you can't get back on the inside of it so I kept it tight and he just floated out wide great. and managed to nip up great the inside cat they give you. yeah it's, nice, it? it's brilliant <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it's going to dry out. Uh, I'd like to see a shower. <laughs> it's just... great to hear that you want it to be wet. I never thought I would hear myself say that, but <laughs> I hope it pours. <laughs> After a long half now, it's going to start from Jamie Forburn. He's going to get the lead on the run up to Jamie in front. Go Border Reavers. Well, Jamie Border Reavers Thorburn didn't win that one. He was leading, uh, got stuck in traffic. Amazing traffic comes into play in these Formula Ford festivals. It's because the, the era of the cars goes way back to 89 or something, which is no problem at all, because Formula Fords are Formula Fords. You know, you're not going to do that much. Either. Development from one year to another, or one decade to another. But I'm very pleased to see that Chris Middlehurst won that race. How you doing? <laughs> Congratulations. Good, mate. That's brilliant. Looks beautiful. Very nice. The front end of the car is pretty similar, but the back half is completely different. Um, the lower the engine, it's further back. Different engine mounting. So, with the engine being lower down, you've got more weight over the rear wheels. You know, the engine's here, rather than here. So the car sits, sits down nicer and, well, more traction out the corners, just grips and goes, well, you know. Sorry, I said the arrow went, you don't have to say that before, before there. Of course not, we haven't got wings on them. Uh, yeah, real drivers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was a great start. Yeah. Leading the race, going well. Yeah, let it go for a bit, actually. Oh, yeah, it's, it's horrendous. But, yeah, we caught them in four laps, which I was amazed at. We had a good, big, comfortable lead yeah. sitting, putting in the laps consistently, pulling away, and then... You have one moment coming out of yeah, I made, so. made a little mistake on the, on that lap and that kind of let them catch up, which ultimately when we caught the back markers, let them get past, so a bit annoyed, a bit gutted. Yeah, I thought you'd been pretty close going into paddock. Yeah, I was actually ahead going into paddock and then because there's a dry line and on the outside of that it's wet, Jake just kind of kept his nose there. Which meant I couldn't get right down to the dry line and had to sort of skate a bit around. Well, I, I thought you'd, you'd go around on the outside of the wet then with your car control and your skill. I thought that's exactly what you're going to do. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I gave it a go, but because it's so much dry on the inside, yeah. it's just a quicker line by far. So yeah. I almost made it work, but not quite. Favorite circuit when you're racing in America? Um, I'd probably say Road America. Yeah, it's an amazing circuit, that. Yeah, I don't know. That's just quite You've got a good deal, though. Yeah, I mean, the championships in the bag. Yeah, exactly. They just got to win the festival. <laughs> well, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. This is the bit of the race weekend when you get back in the car. It's been cold and blowy all day, and wet. And you turn the heater on, and you think, yeah, I love motor racing. I really love it. And it's hard and it's tough. But you get this great feeling when you get back home, and you think, I really want to get out of the racetrack again tomorrow. And, you, and that's the energy here at this race day today. Needed that.